two teenagers shot and killed in Woodbridge in less than a week. The latest outbreak of violence happened early Sunday morning on Ketting Drive in Woodbridge. Brian Carter is live now with what police say happened. Bree. Well, good afternoon to you. We do know at this hour, I just talked to police here that this investigation is still very active and ongoing. Meanwhile, police just moments ago releasing new information about the case involving another team. Right now, Prince William County police are searching for a suspect after a shooting that killed a 19 year old man and injured a 15 year old boy. The present stuff going on, I don't think I feel that safe. Prince William County Police tell ABC 7 News early Sunday morning, 19 year old Christopher Weaver and the 15 year old were shot in this Woodbridge cul-de-sac. Weaver, who was known to his friends as Woody, was taken to the hospital where he died. Friends describe Woody as someone who was always nice. Yeah, that's that's really strange. And uh, I hope the police are doing something great about it. We have a good Prince William County has a very good police force and I hope they, they, they do something great about it. The gunfire rang out just a week after 16 year old Brendan Wilson, also a Woodbridge teen, was shot and killed after what police say was a drug deal gone bad. New this noon, police say they now have five people in custody for Wilson's death. In addition to the three people police arrested last week, authorities now say a 16 year old girl and a 17 year old boy are at a juvenile detention center facing conspiracy charges. I do believe if we keep the younger, younger ones out of the streets, we can crack down on a lot of crime. Now back to the latest incident happening early Sunday morning. Police do tell us that 15 year old is expected to be OK. Police also say that they do not believe that this was a random crime. The investigation ongoing reporting line Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.